We are using this fantastic new process called the Whole Farm Assessment, whereby we um, spend quite a lot of time with the host farmer um, understanding their, their business from their background through to their finance through to the environmental um, situations on farm. And part of that process um, is understanding what their business is and then being able to give them recommendations and actions to help them improve their business. And it's a real buzz that I get out of, out of this job, being able to see that as part of the recommendations that you've given them, that they've put that in process to be able to help them achieve their goals and their dreams um, in their own businesses. I'm Jo Duke sibling and I'm the newly appointed Regional Leader for Taranaki. I've been in the dairy industry for eight years and it's through my passion of being on farm and in the dairy industry that I took on a position with Dairy NZ to become first a consulting officer. My passion in dairying is, is all about helping people in the dairy industry and helping them achieve, achieve their um, aspirations and their dreams in life. I'm also a dairy farmer in Haro with my partner Dion and we have just got into a, or we're in our second year of our equity partnership there with four other partners. Through growing up one of my challenges was always that uh, I always thought that people were better than me. Um, I was never a high achiever by any means but I had a lot of people in my life that I looked up to. Um, my parents, my friends, which helped me achieve my, my goals and dreams along the way because I knew I could be just as, as good as they could. My, my goal when I was at home was always to be a, a vet. Uh, when the vet rolled up at 10 o'clock at night some days, I was always the first to jump out of bed to go and help Dad and the vet to try and um, mend, mend the cow or to, to heal the cow. Um, through, through high school I, I did realise that I wasn't probably going to be the, uh, the scholar and I um, soon quickly decided that probably trying to be a vet was, was not going to be my area of expertise but um, through some, um, I, I guess a, a bit of a push from my family um, they headed me in the direction of perhaps being a farm consultant so I, I took that, that avenue um, and I guess throughout all my life I've had the mentality of um, C's get degrees, I was never a scholarship but I needed to do what I needed to do to get through. And as I went through university my passion for dairy farming um, increased and I actually did get better um, grades through that time. Through, through this process um, with the Women in Dairy Network I came to realise that one of the biggest obstacles in my life was actually me. I was the one holding myself back from leadership roles um, throughout school, throughout university and it was the people in my life that actually pushed me to becoming or being the, um, the regional leader that I am today. And and I've realised now that um, if I put my head to it, I can achieve anything. When you say through this process... You mean yeah, this process, this whole... <laughs> 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 oh, it, was, it wasn't until I was cooking dinner, I think I was cooking lasagna, <laughs> and I was in there going, I'm the biggest issue, <laughs> it's me. <laughs> oh, <that's so> cool. <laughs> um, we have to credit the lasagna. What is the lasagna recipe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, funny. And it's a real buzz that I get out of, out of this job, being able to see that as part of the recommendations that you've given them, that they've put that in process to be able to help them achieve their goals and their dreams um, in their own businesses. I guess one example that I've got, um, which is pretty special, is um, a young guy who's been coming to our type management um, field days, and he's got a really good understanding through this process of his his or his business that his father has set up through um, his career, which he's now taking over as as a young manager, and um, he realised that his father was not making any money. And um, so he set the process where he's changing the farm system over and trying to gain an understanding of, of the financial situation and is making huge headway into making that farm system profitable. So it's really awesome to be able to see that um, those changes have been made because of something that you've done uh, to help them along. 
I've gone to see this this farming um, family a few times now, and the, the father used to tell me that back in his, his day, 20 years ago, he'd turn up to discussion group, and it was all a big competition as to what sort of production that they could do on the farm, and, and everyone held him in high esteem because he was doing 1,500 milk solids a hectare on his farm. I guess things have changed these days. You know, it's now not just about the production that you do, but it's also about the um, profit that you make and the profit that you make to be able to grow your business. And it's really cool to see that um, this young guy is is taking on board all the key messages that Dairy NZ is, is is challenging farmers with, and really making an effort to make his farming system productive um, and not just con not just concentrating on the the production of the farm, but the profitability of the farm also. Another great tool that Dairy NZ has developed is the Career Pathways tool. And you know, a lot of people get lost along the way or don't know which avenue to take. And um, this tool really is, is able to help people from, from starting out on their farming career to where they are in, in, um, you know, midway through their career, whether they want to go off to share milking or to farm ownership. And uh, it's really exciting to see that we're starting to look after our young people and trying to keep them in the dairy industry and help them achieve their goals to uh, share milking or farm ownership or whatever it might be. So the USB stick um, is a great tool that's been designed, I guess, in mind of young people. Um, you know, people don't like to, or especially young people, don't like to find information in books or magazines these days. They love to cruise on the internet and, um, and see what they can find there. So this USB stick was developed just in mind with, um, for, I guess, Generation Y, the young people. This USB stick is um, designed for them to be able to understand what sort of skills um, and knowledge they need to be gaining to be able to reach their next goal um, through their career path, whether it might be going from a farm assistant to a herd manager or a herd manager up to a operations manager, and it really helps them understand which path to go and what skills they need.